Hey, Neil Smith here with U.S. Captain's Training, and welcome to Great Circle Sailing. Problem three, we're solving for initial course and distance. This problem's interesting because we cross the equator and the prime meridian. So let's jump right into it. Great circle distance and initial course practice problem three. Let's jump right into this. Problem three. We are taking our time here because there are a lot of numbers and it's easy to get them wrong. First thing, we are given two positions in latitude and longitude. We're going to record these. Lat one is equal to. 33, 53.3, 33 degrees, 53.3 minutes south. Longitude 1 is equal to 18 degrees, 23.1 east. 18 degrees, 23.1 minutes east. Lat 2 is equal to 40 27, 40 degrees, 27 minutes north. And long two is equal to <clears throat> 73 degrees, 49.4 west. 73 degrees, 49.4 minutes west. Now, in the problems, everything needs to be in degrees, no minutes. So let's get all of these into only degrees. And the way we get rid of minutes is divide by 60, and that puts it into degrees. So here we go with our calculators. <clears throat> this will be 33 point, whatever this ends up being, 53.3 divided by 60 equals 33.89 degrees south. Okay, 23, right, 60, this is going to be 18 point, 23.1 divided by 60 equals 0 0.385, 385 degrees east. And now we're going to get 40 point, divide this by 60, 27 divided by 60 equals 0 0.45, 40.45 degrees north. This one's going to be 73 point, yeah, 0.4 divided by 60. Cool. 49.4 divided by 60 equals 0 0.82, 73.8. Eight, two degrees west. You'll notice here, we start in the south, went to the north, we crossed the equator. And you'll notice here, we start in the east, went to the west. We also are on a different side of the prime meridian. So now that we have all these converted to degrees, we can find the difference in longitude, which is D low. So we're going to find D low. And <clears throat> D low equals longitude 1 minus longitude 2, or the difference between the longitudes. So longitude 1, 18.385, 18.385 degrees east. And longitude 2 is 73.82 degrees west. So, <clears throat> let's get the difference between these two. And if we can use this visual aid to help us. We started about 20 east, right? Here's zero. I know it's hard to read, but here's 20 east. And we ended up 73 west, which is almost 80. So, we went from here west. We went 20, 40, 60, 80, nearly 100, right? So, our answer here should be somewhere around 100 right? 
we went west. So we're going to name this thing west because we headed west. And we're going to add these together. The reason we refer to that is just make sure conceptually we understand the number we're supposed to be close to. 18.385 plus 73.82 equals 92.205. We're just going to say 92.21. Degrees west. This is our D low. Okay, now we need to find distance. <clears throat> Let's find distance. To find distance, we say this formula cosine distance equals cosine lat. 1 times cosine lat 2 times cosine again d low plus or minus depending on if we cross the equator sine lat 1 times sine lat 2 and now we plug it in Let's plug in numbers and figure out our sine. So we're just going to start plugging here. Cosine, lat 1, 3389. Cosine, 33.89 times the cosine, lat 2, which is 40.45 times the cosine of D low, which is 92.21, plus or minus. If we cross the equator, it is minus. We have crossed the equator, so we use minus. Sine, lat 1 again, 33.89. 33.89 times the sine, lat 2, which is 40.45. And now we crunch these numbers carefully in our calculator. Take your time. So we open the parenthesis and say cosine 33.89, 33.89 close times cosine 40.45 close times cosine 92.21 close, close, enter, negative 0 0.02435. So negative. 0 0.0243, 0 0.0243, what's that last number? 6. Okay. And now we subtract that from this. So we open the parenthesis and say sine 33.89 close times sine. 40.45, close, close, enter. 0, 0.36176. 0 0.36176. And now we do this. So this is going to say cosine distance is equal to what we get here. We say <clears throat> negative. 0 0.02436 minus 0.36176 equals negative 38612, negative 0 and so now we need to get rid of this cosine, right? This just needs to be distance. So distance equals the inverse cosine of negative 0 0.38612. Let's type this in carefully and we'll get our distance. Second cosine negative 0 0.38612. 
six one two equals one one two point seven. One one two point seven degrees. Our answers are in miles. So we need to convert degrees to miles, and there's sixty miles per degree, so we can do it. So sixty miles per one degree the degrees cancel you're left with miles and distance will equal 112.7 times 60 equals 6762.8 6762.8 miles is the distance that we're working with when we go forward in this problem, we're, we need to use the degrees for distance. But this is what the problem asks, and you can see we seem to be on the right track here. That's good, but we have to keep going. So let's now get initial course. We're going to say this formula. Let's, I'm just going to say find initial course and this is how we do it we use the formula cosine initial course equals sine lat 2 minus cosine distance times sine lat 1 over, all this is over, sine distance times cosine lat 1. Okay, and now we need to plug and chug this. So, there, here's something very interesting. Sine lat 2 is negative if you cross the equator. In this case, we did. See this? This indicates we went from south to north. We crossed the equator. That makes this negative. Negative. Sine lat 2 is 40.45. Minus cosine distance, cosine distance in degrees, 112.7. 112.7 times the sine lat 1, 3389, 33.89. All of this is over sine distance, 112.7. Times cosine lat one three three point eight nine. Okay, let's keep going here. So negative whatever this number turns out to be sine forty point four five. All right, six four eight seven eight. Six four eight seven eight minus we'll get this number. So we open the parentheses and say cosine one one two point seven close times sine three three point eight nine close close enter negative zero point two one five one eight negative 0 0.21518 over open parentheses sine 112.7 close times cosine 33.89 close close enter Zero seven six five eight one zero point seven six five 
a 1. Okay, let's keep working this. Let's get this top one. Negative 0.64878. Negative and a negative is a positive. Plus 0.2. 1518 enter so we get negative 0 0.4336 divided by 0 0.76581 so we have this number already on our calculator divided by 0.76581 equals this equals negative 0 0.5662 and this remember is the cosine of the initial course so to get rid of cosine we do the inverse cosine so initial course equals inverse cosine of negative 0 0.5662. Now what's this equal? So second, inverse cosine, negative 0.5662 equals 124.5. 4.5 degrees, and now we need to name this. It's in quadrantal notation. So it's named north or south by lat 1. Lat 1 is south, so we name it south. And it's named east or west by D low. D low is west. So we name it west. Now let's, we need to get this in degrees true. So we'll graph this out to give ourselves a visual. Again, north, south east west right essentially compass rows and we're south in this case we're west of south by 124 degrees so we're all the way kind of up here so it's 90 plus whatever okay so this is where we are now we need to take we need to figure out degrees from north so we need to get these degrees these 180 degrees plus these degrees to give us from north. So we're going to say, we're going to set this up and say 180 plus 124.5 equals, this is going to equal degrees true. 180 plus 124.5 equals 304.5. So here we're equal to 304.5 degrees true. So we got 304.5 true and 67662.8. Let's look. Where are we? Three. There's the 304.5 and here's our 6763. This is off by if we rounded it, we'd get exactly these numbers. So that's the answer to great circle distance and initial course. Practice problem three.